Oh, today my friend Kevin invited us to go to the Magic Castle. So he's a magician and a freaking amazing one. This is apparently some event that you can only be invited to type of thing. Really cool. So uh, I invited some of OTV and some of all of our friends to go. And then, yeah, we're going to go. I'm actually waiting on Toast to finish his Hearthstone game before we can go. And I feel like I don't know what timeline we're in. Are we back to 2018 or 2017? And he's literally trying to tie his tie as he's playing the Hearthstone game. The magic castle today. I feel like I'm gonna Yeah, I know. This is the inside of it though. Spoopy. Alright. Alright, Leslie, you can say it. Open sesame. Oh, yeah, he's gonna get me. You guys wanna know how every magic trick is done? I actually know. If you wanna know? No. <laughs> And we're just, this is it, yeah. It was well, this was sick. Wow. That was really cool. Yeah. Oh, Ivan, you, how was going on stage? Oh, you didn't go on stage. I didn't go on stage, but I stood up. Myung went on stage and toast. Yes, they went on stage. It was pretty sick, though. I participated. Yeah. So, I just had lunch with my friend Chelsea. It was great. I was telling her how it was like a date. I got there. She made reservations. She paid for my meal. Sunny is in the box. I mean, every time I open a box, she thinks it's for her. So she made reservations, and then she paid for lunch as well, and she drove me home. Oh, little headbands! I bought these cute little headbands that are like teddy kind of material. They're from Justice, in case you guys want to check it out. I have a package of Kung Fu tea? I don't, I don't think I ordered anything though. But anyway, she was amazing. I love her. She's like a new friend that I met recently. Not like super recent, but oh, oh my God, it's like a, it's like a package. Oh, this is so cute. They even have my name on there for like the thingy. Yvonne, as huge fans of your content, it is our absolute pleasure to give you our new green tea cans and dragon pop popcorn. Our green tea is a light and fresh beverage canned for your communes and our dragon pop is a sweet crunchy treat that we recommend pairing with all of your favorite boba drinks. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my God. You are all, oh, it's so cute. It says you're my cup of tea. I love it. All right, nice. I got a hat. The dragon pop snack thingy that they were talking about. This looks like really good actually. Brown sugar milk tea flavored popcorn. Limited edition canned drinks. Whoa, this is so cool. Whoa. So you guys remember Gia from Singles Inferno? She had this like hair crimper or whatever that she used. So I tried using it too and I like it. It's just, I think it needed to be more blown. I don't know how to describe it. I like to wear it uh, tied up more than down actually, but this is how it looks down and tying it up, it kind of looks like this which I kind of like more. The Triple Flow Wave Iron by Vodana. In case you guys want to check it out. Yeah, this is the one I got. It look like this and has like a couple heat settings and yeah, very easy to use. So me, whenever she's on like carpet or like the bed sheets, she loves rolling around like this. It's so cute. Hey. We are going house hunting today. <laughs> Do you guys know we live, we're live? Oh, we both know we're living together, right? No, they no. don't. Oh, this is but post when, this when is we, gonna be I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This will be later. But they, you guys, well, now you guys know. But you guys at this very moment do not know. But um, we'll know when you see this. Obviously, exactly. We're we're house hunting now. So this is our actually first house that we're gonna go check out. Ever. This could be the first time we step foot in our house. Yeah, and we don't even know it yet. I know. We're just turning on the corner, about to turn it. You know how you feel about with my current house. I've been there for so long, but then there was like a time that it was like the first time. <laughs> yeah. This could be that. This we could is the first back time. This long and be like, whoa. Me and me and Plebsley have also talked about living together for like that last like three, three, three four years. years. I don't know. I can't remember. It's been like so long. Yeah, but like I never could because like OTV always lived together. And then so this is like the first time I feel like we can actually like man like actually making it happen, which is crazy. We're already making use of it. <laughs> First house tried. was not it. Yeah, yeah we tried. We the tried. rooms are too small. Right. The master bedroom eats up all. I have anxiety of this guy hitting us. We are at Yardbird eating with friends. <laughs> He's waiting. Uh, huh? <laughs> we called it. I didn't know whether I should leave it or not. When you buy the whole food, do you think it comes out like as the whole chicken? Or do you think like cut it up? What do you think? Like, cut it the off? Whole bird? What do you think? No, it's not gonna be the whole bird. 
stupid, yeah, right? It's so fucking well, obvious, it's so bad. Yeah, wait, why did you? Why do? Why do you laugh? Who said that? Truffle pasta thingy. Brussels sprouts, best thing ever. Lobster mac and cheese, sixty-five dollar lobster mac and cheese. <laughs> there's a, supposedly a surprise for me outside. I don't really know what it is, but there's a knock, and then I go out, and then there's I don't know, it's just like some elaborate planned surprise apparently for today. But I guess we're gonna find out. The surprise ended up being some flowers. This super super cute um, art that Lindsay got commissioned with the frame and everything. And this is so freaking cute. Look at this is a yeah, it's so cute. So my favorite things in this frame right now. Hello! Okay, so I'm gonna try to make a really easy recipe today that I saw on... It was either on Instagram or TikTok. All it is is literally um, green onions, which I'm not gonna add because I don't like onions, but uh, you had green onions and it's gonna be eggs and tofu. And that's literally it. And you could probably just season with soy sauce or whatever the heck, maybe like salt and pepper or anything like that too. So I'm just gonna try it out. So we have our pan here. I think I'm just gonna add some oil. Use this tofu. organic cage-free eggs, which were probably toast, but there's only three left, and there's a whole nother carton of eggs, so I want to use these ones up first. Oops. Oh no! There's eggshells! What this happen? Oh god, it's cooking too quickly. And then add the tofu in. Ah, uh, that was my mistake. Too high heat in the beginning. Because I like my eggs a bit more, like a bit raw or runny first, so. Oh, maybe I, need, I should just add more eggs. This is a lot of tofu. Okay, so this is what it looked more like. sesame oil at the end so that it doesn't evaporate as much and just have like the taste in there. I learned about that on TikTok. That was so easy to make too. It's literally just tofu, eggs, and then seasoning. Easy recipe. Yum! Sleepy so me and the comfy bed sheets. So, I just finished getting my nails done at this place. They're so good, but look at my nails. Look how pretty. And there's a little gummy bear or a little bear on my thumb. Oh, maybe you can see in the light better. But anyway, so I was about to Uber home, but then I thought, you know what? I'm out in Cape Town. I want to pick up coffee, maybe. There's a grocery store here. I don't know if I'm gonna get any groceries though, but oh, maybe I'll see if there's some fruits. You know, just like walk a bit in the sun. It's pretty nice out today. Just kind of have like a little self pickup slash date type of thing. Sama is right here. It's called California Marketplace. This is the inside when you walk in. It's just a huge market. Now we're going up to the super pretty rooftop. Oh, they opened another shaved ice place here. Meal Top? I've never been. That has the Korean corn dog place that I've never had before as well. I always wanted to try. This is a coffee place. I might get coffee from there. But yeah, so maybe I'll pick something up. But this is a really nice place if you guys ever want to check it out. Really cute coffee place and I think I might get a frappe thingy. I haven't gotten that in a while. But I was looking at a coffee. I'm feeling coffee but this place is also very cute look at this a cute aesthetic date spot for slaps you know ended up getting this vanilla frap i'm gonna just gonna see how it tastes mm, it's so good it definitely tastes different than other vanilla fraps i've had but it's very delicious okay, i thought i was going home but i decided to make a stop at this one. they sell some kimbap type of stuff so i'm getting one for bar and toast so we could all have it at home and I also picked up some food from the grocery market. I'll just put it on the kitchen island. Whoever wants to eat it can eat it. I know it's far like egg roll type of stuff. And then there's squid. There's some of this like balsam type of thing. And then I got some drinks. Come home and there's just a fucking slice of bread on the ground. Who the fuck did this? And the worst part was there's like, it's like a chunk missing. Hey, who, who just ripped off the crust and just threw it here? So me doing man. I just look over, what is she doing? Now look at her, like what is this, huh? She got some, some, you got some moves or some poses or what? We are at no TV shoot today and we're gonna get hypnotized. Les is gonna pet a spider and she's gonna like it. 
Yeah. I don't know. Oh, wait, are you? I think we're all. Yeah, I think we are all right. Wait, what? Wait, you're not getting hypnotized? You? Lucky you chose the opt out. No solidarity. But the. <laughs> This is The notes for the hypnotizing video. I did not put mustard. I put Starbucks, a Sailor Moon, and other things. I swear. They changed it. Gara with the cutie doggy. Ah, that's so cute. Oh, yeah. Do I need a dog? Hmm. You know what? You might. Kind of look. Uh, kind of look like you. You. You would do well with a dog. Oh my God. I'm out. I just got my flu shot, and there's actually like a coffee place that I saw across the street. It looks like this. It's called Matt Black, and the inside looks so interesting. So I'm gonna try it out. This is so cool. What the heck? It's like a comic book inside or something. Yellow. <laughs> a bunch of French toast. A uh, French. French toast ones for people to share. Apparently it's the most popular one along with the white chocolate lavender. Mmm, I'm just trying this now. I got some for other people as well. This is so good actually. It tastes delicious. And if you guys want to go to Matt Black, I'd give this a solid 4 or 4.5 out of 5. Scar, do you see this? <laughs> I didn't know that Emily just put it up, but it is so funny. Finally, we have a, a family portrait at our apartment of everyone who lives here. Very spontaneous last night and decided to order some chicken in case I want to make Hainan chicken. So maybe I'll make some scuffed Hainan chicken. I got a rice cooker and yeah, this is going to be the attempt. Well, they said to put the chicken in the pot just like this, so here it goes. Only supposed to be in there for a little bit and then we take it out just so it cooks the skin. Normally I would probably skip this step, but they're like, you for sure don't want to skip this step. And I was like, oh shit, okay. Chicken is back in the pot and brought to a boil after I added some ginger and salt and garlic. This is the chicken stock. And I'm adding like, I put ginger and garlic and stuff in there and chicken. And then we're just gonna fill it so that we're gonna cook the rice with the stock. Um, up until where it says three cups. Right, that's about right. Perfect. This is cooking now. This is the chicken all prepped. It doesn't look that great because I ordered it. It already cut from the store and I guess they kind of kind of janky with it. But like, I don't know if that means I should cut it next time or something. Maybe. I don't all I also don't know how to cut chicken. So what the what do I do? Well, this is it. First time scuffed hand and chicken. But you know, honestly, it doesn't taste too bad. It's like okay, bad. taste is like there. Yeah, the taste is fine. Taste it's is just there. Uh, I can't eat the chicken without <laughs> It's this. I almost chunked in the boat twice. Yeah, because it, it's like a bad chicken. I mean, I, I fucking. I know I'll just learn to cut a chicken. Fuck it. Today, I'm gonna try to test drive a car. Well, because I've been thinking about getting a car because uh, driving in LA has been kind of. Or not driving in LA has been kind of inconvenient. I know you guys are thinking, Yvonne, I don't think I've ever seen you drive. Well, guess what? I've been driving since I was 18, guys. And so I have my license. I have my license here, too. And so I'm gonna probably see what I can find today and see what I like. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna watch Batman today for the first time. Everyone says it's really good. I'm with Gavin and some other people as well, eating food. Today on the menu, we might be getting some nachos or popcorn undecided. Hey guys, so I thought about how to vlog when I'm not feeling the best, like when I'm feeling more sad or down. And I typically don't because every time I am sad or feeling down, I don't feel like vlogging, which is really natural. Like you're not gonna wanna put a camera to your face or do anything. So it's not like I feel super sad now, but like now it feels like a good time to maybe to talk about it where I do feel like talking to the camera about stuff maybe. And I guess as of lately, things haven't been 
so great for me. It's been probably like, I would say one of the lower points out of the year. And I don't mean like starting from January. I mean like out of the whole year thus far or thus far. It's probably like the worst because I'm going through like a hard time emotionally when it comes to I guess in terms of like being happy or trying to be happy alone I'm really struggling because I naturally love sharing things with people and wanting to be with people and I guess the hardest thing is losing maybe someone who's like super close to you who's like your best friend and then you don't really know who to share your small daily happy things with anymore whether it's like seeing a funny tiktok um that reminds you of them or like any small things even like valorant clips that i'm like slightly more proud of or something i can't like you know you lose someone who was so like all these things that you can't send to your other friends or send to other people yeah so that's been really hard for me um it makes me super sad and also don't really feel like yes i'm really happy with myself content wise as well the only thing that makes me happy are the vlogs there's also not a ton going on compared to usually i guess since moving out of the house House or not being around people as much because obviously when you're in a bad mental state or when I'm in a bad mental state I tend to kind of I completely turtle up or like hibernate and try and I don't really feel like hanging out or like doing things with people as much or especially in I'm okay in like smaller group settings but it's very hard for me to do it in like a big group setting so if there's if I'm ever in a bad mental state or really sad and stuff and people are planning like big group events that kind of scares me to be at or it intimidates me to be at because it's like a lot of pressure to maybe socialize when you're not in the best mindset to socialize and if i'm there i would want to hang out with people i don't want to go to something like that and kind of be a debbie downer like i want to i want to go to events like that and actually socialize and talk to friends and all that kind of stuff and it's hard to do that when you're not feeling the best sorry it's probably like a lot of random disconnected thoughts not very very fluid and stuff but i'm just like saying what's kind of coming to mind right now so it's not very eloquent or like well put so i'm sorry if my thoughts are all scattered but yeah that's pretty much like what tldr is happening to me right now and so i feel just sad pretty often i lay here or like laying down because laying down makes me feel better when i'm sad it's like something about it i don't know what it is like looking up at the ceiling or like just chilling or doing whatever it just like laying is comforting and so i've been laying a lot and watching key dramas or like shows and stuff like that just to keep me occupied yeah that's kind of just the update and what's been going on so uh hopefully i'll be able to share things that aren't so necessarily happy all the time or funny all the time on the vlogs just to i don't know i always feel like i could talk to you guys about stuff and just like i feel like sometimes even the more specific you are about what makes you sad or what you're going through it actually makes it so more people can relate and that it's happened to them before and then just makes you feel not so alone so yeah that was just like my thought process as to like obviously there are personal things or private things in life where like you can't share too much of especially out of respect to other people but i would always want to be able to like help other people i don't know if you guys ever have any problems or anything like that please let me know in the comments or anything that you're worried about or anything that maybe might be stressing you out right now because i have things that are stressing me out and we can all share them together maybe we can talk about it and stuff i don't know but just thanks for being here for this